Sandwiches or grilled chicken boob farts? Yeah. I'm gonna edit in, there was like a time when I was actually having fun with this. Like, for future reference, like, the PS5's coming out. Make like a hub for sharing stuff, not this stupid like one button press nonsense. Maybe it's on PS4 Pro and I'm unaware of it, but a one button press, like all function nonsense for stupid people is stupid. Like, you need to be able to load it, preload it, take things off, whatever the hell it is, that will, just for future, just whatever. Anyways. So PS5, uh, I'm not talking about PS5. The Marvel's Capcom Infinite. Old game. Oh yeah, by the way, if you're not dead from coronavirus, congratulations. I can't go to the gym, but I have to practice in the backyard. Third time I'm saying this shit. The reason is some fox keep fucking with this goddamn thing here. And it's my point. Marvel's Capcom Infinite was a thing by Capcom or whatever the fuck it was. To be kind of a... It basically look kind of like Ultimate Marvel's Capcom 3. If not slightly lower rent for the purposes of compensating for people's slow-ass internet speed. Yeah. Yeah, the game suddenly doesn't like whatever the fuck it is. You know, fuck yourself, you piece of shit. Sorry, I got some asshole skulls here. You, you, you've seen the all-seeing guy here. Not all of, not everybody affiliated with that fucking thing is, is an asshole, but some people are. So anyways, like, I'm gonna be fucking, I'm gonna be a prick so long as they're fucking, like, fucking on my goddamn board. So anyways. Uh, yeah. It's, it's their bullshit. It's like, so while I'm playing a Sega board, it's that Farsight Studios connected their fucking, not everybody affiliated with that is cool. A lot of them are just, some of them are just fucking pompous, power-hungry assholes. Not that it fucking matters, because most people are, but I don't like them fucking my pinball table. And they don't want me talking about this shit, so I guess that's what I'm going to talk about. Marvel's Capcom Infinite pretty much proved that your average gamer, at least in, quantifi in a quantifiable form, was kind of a con artist. And how it did this was basically a, by offering the possibility of playing a game by which the net code would not be a factor, meaning your slow ass internet speed isn't an excuse because the the graphic the graphical pro like the GPU and the CPU are essentially not overworked because they're it's a PS3 it's PS3 or it's PS3 graphics but with like a PS4 processor and shit right. So pretty much, uh, the PS3 or whatever, the PS4 or whatever the fuck it is, would be able to run, would be able to compensate for your slow-ass internet speed. And everybody basically panned the fucking thing. They all hated it. So it more or less proved, or whatever the hell it is, if people had, like, something that would essentially function normally, like, at almost any internet speed, they would generally choose the game that would allow them to cheat. So if you're looking for a fair game and fucking like a fighting game online, you're shit out of luck apparently. It's not by it's not by failure of the game creators because they did something. And a lot of them, it's not just Capcom. Guys, Soul Calibur, I call them I call them Namco. It's not what they're called now. It's like uh, even they tried. They lowered the polygon count to there of Soul Calibur 6, which I got now. And, uh... Uh, just 
PS, uh, what do you call it, PS3, be a little bit better. Ball couldn't be fucked with, or whatever the hell it is. It has like a, a built-in physics engine. Which, uh, which is why I've been playing that more than I've been playing my PS, my PS4. Anyhow, yeah, it's like, speaking of like online cheats and bullshit like that, I got on Resident Evil 6 recently. Probably, you know, it, was, it was on sale for March Madness. And, uh, like four bucks. So, why the fuck not? Um, it was pretty, like, you know, great for coronavirus season. Well, I got some beer. So like, um, yeah, I went online and somebody like initiated like an instant kill animation, like on my character. It's like, that's the type of shit, that's, that's what gamers are, it's con artists. <laughs> it's like immediate, like the second person I spoke to, the second person I played with. But yeah, it's like, it's just, it's just good to know, you know, to some degree. But like, you know, that my paranoia is now justified. At least as far as gamers are concerned. But yeah, they do just basically cheat their fucking asses off on everything. You know what I mean? It's like, uh, yeah, basically. This is my fault. Don't get it. Don't get it twisted. But it's like 45% of it is probably yeah, like that. It's just all dead zone. So it's like it's roughly about 50%. show my face there was a time when I was actually having fun. I'll, 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 I'll edit that in. Like after. It was like almost like a blooper reel. There was a time when I was having fun. Like just let somebody fucking with this. <laughs> I mean, just, oh my god. Uh, uh, just, just, no. If it wasn't for Sega, I'd, oh my god. I can't. Capcom, yeah, it's like, uh, I'm receding back into my hate all gamers mode. I'm receding back into it, and I feel it. I don't fucking care. That's the problem, is that pretty much all, just pretty much every video game because of fucking the internet is rigged. And Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite just kind of like proved it. And so, 
when people start it's like it's nothing but like dead zone shots or whatever the fuck it is constantly like from every angle regardless Pick another one, right? Uh, need more than graphical processing. You need. I hope for PS5 they put like a fucking uh, excuse my language, uh, whatever. I hope they put like a. Uh, it doesn't have to be a full like native physics engine like the cell processor. That'd be nice. But I mean, it at least it at least stops assholes from like cheating. I like fucking with it, or it makes it harder. If it makes it harder for the average douchebag to mess with it, I'm for it. Cause now with the, cause now with the, uh, like the proof of like uh, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, even if it is like a couple of years late or overdue, that means something. Life in a shallow grave. Life in a shallow grave. Anyways, so. Yes. Sure.